you pursued a higher education after you were already fully immersed in the porn industry. I know this is something that you and I kind of share. Um, so why was it so important for you to n get not just one, but two degrees? Oh, well, I feel like I talk about it in my book a lot, but basically, so I always felt like I needed to go to college because my family expected that of me, but I definitely felt like when I got into porn that I needed to have multiple degrees, if not more than two, because people have a perception that they put on you and it's that you know if you're doing porn you must not be smart and like mm -hmm. i i just think it was a defense mechanism i'm like i've got to go get some degrees i cannot have people thinking this of me <laughs> that's is, the fucking truth <laughs> i mean and i appreciate your honesty i mean I, I i can relate because i also went to UCLA and like finished up my degree there while I knew I was going to be in porn and it was the same kind of thing like my family expected it of me I knew my dad would like never let it go if I didn't fucking graduate college never. and then <laughs> yeah number yeah. two I just I don't know I'd always expected to go to college and I'd always yeah. expected to get like I mean I only have one degree um but that just felt like yeah. I just needed to finish that totally path yeah for myself yeah so what was it like mm -hmm. working in porn and going to school at the same time Oh my gosh. I feel like well, working in porn and going to school at the same time is chaotic because as you know, porn is really demanding and you have to show up at times when you are busy doing maybe other things like your schoolwork and vice versa. And so those are two huge commitments. And so it just took me a while to finish my education because I prioritized being able to like go to set last minute, you know, mm -hmm. the day before, like, oh, hey, you're shooting tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I only took like a few classes at a time towards the end there at UCLA. Um, but it was definitely, it was interesting. I, did, I don't feel like I was talking about porn a lot while I was like at school. Like it wasn't like, you know, my conversation, but that is what I was doing. Did people ever school. recognize you at school? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Throughout my undergrad and my master's program, people recognized me or would like want to take photos and stuff with me on campus. And I would be able to like talk to classes. Sometimes teachers would hire me to talk to their class about the porn industry. I think it's fascinating how in California, at least academics are infatuated with the porn industry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want the porn girls to come <laughs> to school yeah. and talk. <laughs> and that's always been like fascinating to me. It's actually something I've always wanted to do as well oh you would be so but good i've that. never you I would even literally know, like, be where... so good at that all right hear that university yes coming. oh my gosh come talk to your kids about yeah porn. yeah <laughs> we're gonna talk about dps and double anal i feel like you would just be I like them. the best at that <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean. um so you have uh spoken at some um fraternities on college campuses about consent specifically uh, how did a room full of college guys react to having a porn star talk to them about consensual sex? Did you feel like there was this weird misconception going into it and then things shifted at the end or did they seem pretty receptive to it? So talking to younger men about consent is definitely like rolling the dice. Like sometimes the fraternities are just like really chill and the guys are really receptive, especially like a smaller group of guys, mm -hmm. but it's like a big room and it's a ton of fraternity brothers. They like almost become like a wolf pack or like hyenas and they get like really like excited and crazy. And it's yeah. honestly intense. Yeah. You're like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of people packed in here and they are like, I don't know, they they feed off each other's energy. Yeah. And sometimes if, you know, one speaks out and says something stupid, then the other ones will. But overall, most of the times I got to go to these fraternities, they were really respectful and inquisitive and wanted to talk and have conversations and ask questions. And it was just, like, fascinating to me because, I'm, I mean, they just seem like such nice guys. It's It's crazy. They have such a bad reputation. Yeah. Well, I think, you know, a lot of them may not be educated about consent, right? Because, I mean, consent is something that we've only just started talking about very openly in the adult industry in general, you know, with like the boundary checklists that we have and stuff like that now. Mm -hmm. um, and it was never something that was really like a lot of things were assumed. 
Correct. You know what I mean? Yes. So um, I can see how that would definitely be like a new topic of conversation, especially among like fraternity brothers. But do you feel like you got through to them? Like were there guys who came up to you afterwards and said anything that made you feel like, okay, I'm making a difference here? Oh, absolutely. I feel like the conversations had an effect on the fraternity brothers. But the main thing I really got from doing those talks was that the conversation about consent needs to happen way before kids get to college. Mm -hmm. That is something that like you and I need to teach our children Mm -hmm. when they're born. Like it needs to be like immediate, you know, because Mm -hmm. it's something that I have, you know, nephews and you can, they're young and you can just see like that conversation has to happen so far before they get to college and are talking to an adult actress in a fraternity. It needs to happen just like in their household with their family and Mm -hmm. it needs to be transparent and hopefully that is like the way that the new new generation is going. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.